Howdy and greetings everybody. Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. It's a beautiful, cloudy but beautiful morning here in northern North Carolina and we are here in our squash patch and we have some delicata which is a winter squash growing here. It's uh, in the ground about I'd say about six weeks now and it's coming along pretty good. And over here, uh, this is a variety, it's like a pumpkin, it's called a Tekka, I'm going to blow this for sure, Teksuka Budo, which sounds Japanese, I'm sure it's close to that. And it's known for its resistance to the SVB, the squash vine borer. This year we've tried to pick varieties that are least susceptible, and apparently this is one of them. It uh, produces, we hope, a pumpkin-sized, smallish pumpkin-sized um, gourd that is supposedly very delicious. And we're looking forward to having actual squash rather than having our, our um, crops decimated as they have been in the past by either the squash bug, which is different. They're the little guys that lay eggs on the underside of the, of the leaves and the squash vine borer, which actually gets into the stems and just chugs its way on through and just totally wipes out a plant. You, you start off one evening, everything looks good. You come back the next day and everything's collapsed. You see these uh, like sawdust that's come out of the holes where they've been boring away, chewing out the insides. And it's not a, it's no fun because it takes a while to get plants up to this size and especially when they start showing fruit and everything looks great and then all of a sudden the SVBs come around. So we've done several things this year, hopefully to cut back on the, uh, the predation that occurs with these various bugs. One of them is we haven't applied a thick layer of mulch. They say that the, um, the squash bugs like to live in mulch so we don't have very much mulch laid out. It's more or less bare earth. In the beginning, when we planted these in, uh, in seed form, we planted them in the ground and we covered with the, the row fabric, the row cover, uh, sort of a gauzy form of it, so it's pretty lightweight, to um, keep the squash uh, vine borers, the FVBs, from zooming in and taking care of uh, digging into the stem. So we're hopeful that with these procedures, now there's, oh, one more thing. You'll note we have some white, white spots on this. This is not a disease, this is not milky spore. This is kaolin clay. And we bought a huge bag of what's called Surround WP. I imagine it's gonna last, oh, maybe five or six years the way we're using it. And you mix it in to your sprayer, you have to keep shaking it to, to make sure it keeps agitated and, and floating in the, in the water. Just mix it with water, and uh, I, I think it's about a quarter pound to a gallon, and then you spray it on, and it coats the whole entire plant. Now, the problem is we've just had some rain, several bouts of rain. I'm gonna have to come back and coat it, but that also gives the protection against the bugs that could get on. They don't like having to chew through clay to get to their, um, their treat, right? The other thing, here is a product I found online. It's uh, a Viva Trap. You get two of them for about 18 bucks. And what it is, is it's a little tent-like device with stick them on the inside, right? And it has a sticky, thing on the inside here. Let me fold this out. Yeah, here we go. And this is, and you put a lure here that attracts the squash fine borer. Now that borer looks like a little sort of reddish colored wasp. It's, it's clear winged. And I'm basically putting these out just to confirm that the borers are around. I'm going to set them off a distance from the garden to make sure that I'm not attracting, that's a problem with some of these lure things, is they actually draw in the bugs. The bugs say, oh, okay, well, here's some food here too. So um, 
you, it comes with it one, uh, you get a set of two and it comes with its own little pheromone attractant pellet that you put inside and you hang it with this twist tie from the top and uh, we'll see how it works. But we do, we do this with as much organic intent as we can and hopefully it not to not to belabor the point, but when you start hitting it uh, with all kinds of poisons and particularly the systemic type stuff that stays in the plant, wow, uh, you're kind of going down a road where you could be killing the beneficials as well as the ones you want to get rid of. So we're trying to be selective here with this particular product and find out if we are getting a, um, an invasion of squash vine borers. So. This is uh, available again from directly from uh, Viva Grow. It's called a Viva Trap. Let me hold it right. A Viva Trap. So be sure that uh, when you go to order, that you're picking the right pheromone. So this is this is specifically for the squash fine borer right here. Okay. We will keep you all apprised. It would be great to have real uh, fantastic winter squash. The uh, delicata, by the way, you can eat that even earlier, and you can eat the entire skin and all on the delicata, which makes it a great feature as a winter squash. So we wish you all the very best of luck as you venture into your gardening this summer, and we would greatly appreciate any comments, anything you have to say about your experience in dealing with the squash vine borer or the squash bugs that have worked or not worked it's always useful to know what hasn't worked and uh, drop us a line on our email or facebook page also you can make comments on the youtube channel that we're up here right now and be sure to hit that little subscribe button and we will continue on into our gardening adventures this summer side by side learning from each other because that's what gardens all is all about learning and growing together so come see us at gardensall.com Coleman Alderson here. Have a great summer. So long. So, this is pretty much what, uh, what this little trap looks like. And we're going to suspend it probably, probably from some structure rather than a tree branch. Uh, tree branches tend to wave and all that. So we'll suspend it from a, maybe one of our overhead support systems. And then it comes you, with this packet, this little lure right here. I don't know whether you can see it or not. It's labeled as such, Melita Kukuba. And it looks like a little eraser off the end of a pencil. And you just put that inside here to attract. And it's coated inside. You gotta be a little careful. It's coated inside with stickiness. So we'll see how this works out and we'll keep you all updated. Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. So long. After just a couple hours, we've already caught one. Yay!